Today we're going to demonstrate using a thermal transfer printer, a commercial label software package. In this particular case, it's label view, but you can use Bartender, Nice Label, any label software package that has save to file capabilities. We're going to demonstrate a scenario of producing a label, a 2D barcode label, that is uh, produced in a control situation, maybe in the office, and delivered to our factory floor, our shipping department, for a label that is um, uh, repetitively placed on a product. It's the same label. Maybe it's a run of 50 or 150 or 250,000. It doesn't matter. Uh, the benefits of this is that we don't have a, a computer necessary to drive a thermal printer onto the factory floor. We are actually just tethering a high-density scanner to a thermal printer that would be on the factory floor and will scan a 2D barcode. How this is accomplished is that in our software package we are producing a label that will that will look like the label that we'd be putting onto our product. It can have controls in it such as enter the lot number. Maybe it's enter the date, maybe it's the shop order, anything that to be printed on this label can be controlled at uh, print time or data pulled from a database. We are going to designate that in this production run we're going to expect five labels out at the factory floor and in the office we're going to say print to a file. We're going to identify the file that we are going to use in our second label. We're going to call it lot number one, dot txt. And this is the image of what we are going to deliver to the factory floor to be scanned to produce a repetitive label. Now if we look at this 2D barcode, we'll, I, we will see that the file source is lot1.txt, the file we just created. In the office we're going to produce one of these and Leanne will pull that off for us. I'll get this. This is this thermal printer would Im, would be on the factory floor and of course this 2D barcode would have been produced in the office. The first one will screw up. <laughs> Second one. Third. And we have designed the label to be peel and present. Would you do that one more time, Lee? Show them that the first one will not. On the factory floor, it, it will be nice <laughs> and clean on the first print. Thank you. What we've uh, what we've displayed is using a um, a Toshiba printer thermal printer that would be on the factory floor, shipping department, tethered in a serial port with a high density scanner, scanning a 2D barcode that has been uh, generated in the office for control purposes and for the purpose of not having to have a computer on the floor to drive a thermal printer to, pr to produce a repetitive label. Thank you.